What's up, people? Matthew Belcher, 8built.com. No, no. What's up, people? Matthew Belcher, 8built.com. What y'all just saw is a walk around of our new chassis we got available on our website for purchase. Uh, if you check the link in the description below, there will be a link that takes you to 8built.com. Uh, this is our first production chassis that we're putting out on the market. Uh, we set it up kind of like a Truggy. Um, and also, when we built it in CAD, this one is built with a 22RE, so a small four cylinder motor. However, when we built it in CAD, we built it with a standard LS motor. So you can use an LS motor, you could use a 22RE. Uh, a Suzuki Samurai 1.3, I mean, basically anything, an LS or smaller, you'd be able to fit in here, or a Jeep 5.9, a Jeep 5.2, anything small block should fit in this chassis. Uh, also, when we set it up, we set up the radiator in the front. Uh, traditionally, a lot of rock bouncers and stuff are putting the radiators in the back. We wanted to keep that space for storage back there. Uh, however, if you really wanted to, you could definitely run this radiator on the back wall uh, of this chassis back here. Uh, we have two versions of this chassis, one being the short version, uh, which is this one. It's about 115 wheelbase. Of course, you can always stick your axles out a little bit, uh, but this one's about 115 inches. And then we have one that has a five inch extension, basically extended cab is what we're calling it, right in the middle. So behind this rail, you got an extra five inches, and then that bumps you to 120 wheelbase. Um, we've designed and built this chassis so that no matter what, no matter what you're going to do, whether you're going to run a little 22R in here, uh, and do, do standard crawling over in Moab, or whether you're trying to throw a 700 horsepower LS with uh, you know 14 or 40 spline axles in this thing, the chassis will take it. Uh, we used a lot of designs similar to a trophy truck style, uh, but you can tell by looking at it, the triangulation, uh, the B pillar support, cross members on the roof, this is a very, very, very strong chassis. The shock hoops, the way we put the coilovers coming into the top, and then the back, when you look at that, the coilovers, how it goes into the back and then transfers the load into the roof. So a very strong, very stout chassis. Uh, and that's why we, we've taken the time to do this right. This is the first, like I said, first chassis that we're putting on the market. Uh, we also left a little compartment right here. So uh, depending on how you're gonna set it up, whether a windshield, windshield wipers, whatnot, you've got area for that. Um, if y'all got any questions on this thing, leave it in the comments below. Uh, this is, a, like I said, standard 22R, standard GM transmission. This is a 700R we're running in here. Uh, and then we've got the Atlas 4-speed. We did the Atlas 4-speed because we're running the 22R uh, small motor. But, like I said, standard GM transmission, so LS-based motor. Anything you want to run in this, it'll fit. We also left a spot for the winch on the front. So you do still have room for a winch with an LS hydraulic steering. I mean, we, we tried to design it so that it'll fit across all boards, whether you're trying to go crazy and go ham at 700 horsepower up a hill, or you're just trying to crawl nice and easy. But leave it in the comments. Don't forget, that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. 
and uh, like the video. Let us know what you want to see. Holler at us, abuilt.com. Okay, we'll just hit record. Yeah. And how are we looking? Perfect. perfect. Perfect? Right on the fucking ideal spot? Right in the middle. Money. Don't clap. Was that too loud? Gotta have something for the bloopers. Sound like a snack bar.